So Carter, we've got two main variables that affect the way the ball flies, club face angle and club path. And we're gonna use some of the equipment we've got on the range here for the players at home who wanna work on their club path. And we don't need any big fancy sticks. We can't stick it in here in the first place, right? We've got some AstroTurf. But we're gonna use some external objects to create a bit of a training ground out in front of us that yep. can help with our club path. I like it. Okay, yeah. so this drill and these uh, following little exercises that we'll give are gonna be for the players who would struggle essentially in a most simple manner, get their club swinging towards their target. We might see players who tend to cut across it, will come too much from the inside, and they would tend to over curve the ball. Could be a big slice or a big hook, right? So what are some of your favorite exercises where there are no excuses not to work on your club path for the guys at home? What are we gonna do? There's a classic one if you wanna get your phone out. <laughs> no, we won't use our phone just yet, that's level 10. Yeah. But what we do, I like this one. So they're very simple. The majority of golfers that we see obviously do swing it from out to in that, so that's a given. Um, obviously putting this relatively close to the golf ball, not silly close to start with. Mm -hmm. And again, give yourself levels. So mm. start out here yep. and use it as a visual. Yep. And once you start once you start seeing a bit more um, feedback from the golf ball that the, your swing path is likely to be straighter. Yep you can start moving this in a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. Even for those golfers that are trying to achieve a more into out path, as, again, as a visual and exa exaggeration, you could even just tilt it a few degrees. I, yeah. I hate the one that kind of goes a bit too much. Yeah. Let's just literally keep it at a centimeter, five yeah. degrees, like minimal. Just and why, that visual. and a lot of players, they would do something ridiculous. Why don't you like that? Because it, all that's going to effectively do, and we, we, like to, we like to do exaggeration, slight exaggerations on drills. But all this starts to do, it will mess about with weight distribution, pressure, takeaway, yeah. yep. everything. Because as soon as you set up to here, obviously we're using a block here rather than a, an alignment stick or something like that. But where are you going to naturally want to go in your takeaway? So now you've just screwed up what was, could have been a really good takeaway in the first place. Yeah. So we only, if we're only going to use this for downswing and into the golf ball position, we don't want this to affect the backswing too much. Very good. Um, so I would try and keep it literally angled at... I just kind of, rather than a degree, just go like a centimetre, 10 mil. 1.2 degrees. Yeah, whatever it's going to be, whatever it needs to be, just ever so slight so we don't lose takeaway. When you're then bringing this club into the golf ball, the slow motion, slow motion drill is the only way, without a camera and without a track plan, is the only way you're going to have any idea as to whether you've managed to achieve it. And that's the key as well, because what we need to remember is although we're trying to do it, doesn't mean we're going to do it. Mm. Feel and real, two completely different things. So little kind of 50% swings, yep. you grab a seven iron and chat on the range, challenge yourself to not allow the seven iron to go past 50 yards. That's a good one. Now, some of you may laugh at that and go, I don't hit it 50 yards anyway. That's put with a pure strike, okay? So we're gonna try and make sure the ball doesn't travel more than 50 yards with a seven or an eight time. Okay, I've got an eight in my hand, so I'm already cheating the system a little bit. Now, uh, relative to your handicap level here, guys, uh, you can bring this closer and closer and closer, so just to bring some awareness to really where the golf club is. Now, so one- Carrod, we're going there. Oh, you please. <laughs> Hit it right off the, the shiny part. Now, one thing to really uh, make and become aware of here is that we do not want to try and trace a straight line, do we, yeah, Cuts? Nope. The golf club is going to arc around our body. For a simplistic swing, if I hold the golf club up at T-ball or baseball height, you can see the golf club works around me in the backswing and around me in the follow through. As I bend down from my hips, we're gonna see that that golf club is still going to make a similar arcing motion. Yeah. I find too many players would do a drill like this and then they start trying to run yeah, their club yeah. against it very similar to the putting rail drill i think that i think if you can be if you're a visual player and you can be visual in this instance what you've just shown there is amazing like you think there, the golf swing is a circle kind of a flat circle yeah you can imagine grabbing that circle and just tilting it 45 degrees very good keeping it on that circle yeah i mean that's the key if you can visualize something like that in my head i've got like this little red laser line going around your body there like, like kind of flat and then you just tilt it up 45 degrees. So yeah, you're absolutely right. From the moment this club leaves the ball, there will be a very slight arc, yep. but again, not to be exaggerated, it isn't going in there. 
Yeah, very good, very good. And I like I like that. I see all day, every day players down at the range either using golf balls or a block like this, and yeah. they just exaggerate it simply too much. At the very beginning when you're working on club path, maybe one or two swings, it's okay to bring awareness of the difference in feel. Yeah. But in terms of hitting little half shots, and I'll do that right now, slight little angle out there. And this stick here, guys, very important. This is your baseline. What that means is halfway kind of between where your feet are and the golf ball is, and this is your reference. If you don't have this, and let's say you do aim this to the right, we find nearly every player after a few swings will simply just be matching that. Yeah, yeah. And once again, we're gonna fall into a bit of a trap there, so. That's gotta be given at every single practice session, hasn't it? Even exactly. Warm, even warm up session. Yeah. Even more so in a warm up session. Very you much so. Dial yourself in for the round. So little half here, less than 50 yards. Less than 50 yards. Full swing? Full power, full, sorry, full swing, 50%. When you can learn to strike it, that's when you know you've completed it. It's my first day at golf, so that's why I fed it. So it's good though. So you feel the club, though, don't you? you? Your awareness grows big time. You want to start to be able to think as you're swinging, and I think I might be wrong in saying this, but when when you're playing, if you we know when we're out of position, don't you? You know when it's yeah. going to go bad. Yeah. And sometimes you either just accept it and hold you, close your eyes and hope for the best, or we can kind of manipulate it to a point where we've made it better than it should have been. Yeah. yeah. And that's just through pure that's like self-awareness, understanding of where mm -hmm. the club is. And this sort of drill kind of gears you towards that. I'm not saying it's going to do that for sure, but it's going to give it's going to build your awareness to how it feels when the club's at a certain position, how you get it back to correct impact. It would be one of those exercises that even if any of pro golfers on PGA Tour, DP World, they had never actually done this, but you ask them to do it, they would all be able to do it. Yeah. Same as a footballer learning how to juggle on their feet, yeah. it'd be exactly the same drill there. So this one, not only is it great for building in a bit of awareness of club path here, which is going to affect how much your golf ball is curving, but also in regards to being aware of what the golf swing plane, the arc of the club, and the movement of the club is going to be like through impact. I was quite impressed that I hit that That's while nice talking. <laughs> uh, relative to making these huge, big exaggerations in there, mate. And also as well, going off, um, going away from path, just club face. Mm. So if you had that club face super hooded to the left, you would you would really feel it probably chunk left. You would. And if you had it really open, obviously you'd see the ball flight pop up nice and not nice high to the right hand side. Yeah. So straight away it gives you feedback and understanding of face, even though you've only hit this. 30 to 50 yards, it's yeah. gone straight. So you know path and face, we're good. Yeah. Stick another 100 mile an hour on that and we're, we're cooking. Let's do that, 100 mile an hour with an eight iron, that'll be interesting, but we'll see if we can up this up. I've got the, uh, the feel now of a couple of chip shots, full swing. Let's hit a bit of a frozen rope down there. Oh, there it is. Mate, you should be a coach. Love it. One day. Cheers. <laughs> 